Okay, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and as a part of my ongoing tutorial series on Discord, the new chat application that everyone is using because it's free and full of awesome features, is today we're going to cover how you add icons to different channels in Discord, like let's go to my buddy Duke's Discord. You'll notice that he's got all of these little icons linked in the side of the channel names. I'm also not really sure what they're talking about, but anywho, I'm going to add a couple of them to the Discord channels for the Don't Inspect Me ass group that I'm a part of for the Don't Inspect Me guild from WoW. I don't play WoW, but I hang out with them because my buddy Cave Johnson Lemon Explosion makes the funnest squealy noises when we murder him in video games. So in order to add icons to your various channel names inside of Discord, I don't think it works for text channels, but you can definitely add it to the voice channels, and basically all it is is Discord has the option to support emojis now. And you can just copy and paste emojis from the most common libraries. I'm using copyandpasteemoji.com because it was the one that was suggested to be used. And I'm going to add an emoji to the Stickler Winkler. So that's, uh, that's basically a dick joke is what that is. It's an in-joke, so I won't try to explain it. So what would we say for an icon that represents the really good stick? Um, there's a lot of things to choose from here. There's other emojis where there's like a graduation cap and a, a bomb, and also the eyes that have seen the return of Yog Zavrul, the ancient lord of, I don't know, rotisserie chicken. Hmm. Let's do a kebab or something for the really good stick. So I'm just going to hover over this and copy this kebab image. And I'm just going to paste it in the front of this channel name, click done. And now there's a little kebab icon in front of the Stickler Winkler. And then I'm going to go down to the kangaroo pit. You know, I'll bet there might actually be a kangaroo icon in here somewhere. Let's see, kangaroo. Really, this is the only emoji set that I've seen that doesn't have a weird looking kangaroo trying to hunt someone down and eat them. Well, what would you put inside of a kangaroo pit for sweet, sultry murder? Hmm. Huh. It's a good question. Let's see here. I'll just put, um, flan. Just a nice dessert of flan. And we'll just put that in front. And you can basically put these anywhere. You just gotta copy and paste them. And you can even copy and paste them right out of the chat window here by adding one of these emojis. So what do we got here? We have a kangaroo. Looks like we have the same things that we have available in there. Let's write chipmunk. And then I'm going to copy this over. And then we're going to put that as the wizard hole. The wizard hole now has a squirrel. So there you go. That's a pretty easy way of adding emojis. You can either use a website like copyandpasteemoji.com, which I'll link in the video description. Or you can just type them out inside of here. My Friend Captain Tarek is going to start adding some stuff as well. You're in a tutorial, Tarek. Look at you, fancy boy. Wearing an icon of some anime chick. Because that's just what you do. So that's how you add these to the channel names in here. And let's find out if they work on text channels. I'm not sure that they do. In fact, I'm fairly certain. Nope. You got to have just alphanumeric stuff in here. Maybe I put a dash instead of a space. Does it accept the squirrel? Nope. No icons slash emojis in the regular channels, unfortunately. But you can put them in the chat channels for voice chat. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. It's quick and to the point. I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if you have any Discord questions about how to use certain features. And I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Toodles, everybody.